Six Exercises, Dr. Ken here with you, and this is number five. So in number five, we're looking at uh, R, L, and C in parallel AC circuits. Again, R standing for resistance, L for inductance, and C for capacitance. So here, 5.1, a parallel circuit consists of a motor and a heater connected in parallel. The motor has a current of 5 amps and lags the supply by 30 degrees. The heater draws 3 amps and is in phase with the supply at 220 volts. Use a phasor diagram to determine the total current and the phase angle. So you can see here we've got a bit of graph paper. I've decided to use a scale of 1 amp equals 10 millimetres as my scale. And the first thing I'm going to do is put in the reference and the first current, which is the current, the 3 amps that is in phase. So using voltage as the reference, because this is a parallel circuit for current. So the only thing that doesn't change is the voltage. So it becomes the reference and on the horizontal, 3 amps at 0 degrees. The next thing we have to add is our 5 amps at 30 degrees. And remember, we we're told this lags by 30 degrees. So it's sitting behind. I'll just get the, the pen pointer on. So remembering our phase, right? Sorry, our phase rotation, our phase or rotation is that direction. Therefore, this angle in here is at minus. 30 degrees or 30 degrees lag. So it told us it lags and it lags by 30 degrees. So the next thing is we now need to do a simple phasor addition. So I've added the green phasor in the way I have done that. Again is simply put my compass on and measured the length of this, then move the point of my compass here and then draw an arc with my compass through here. And then all I've done is then do exactly the opposite. So next slide, I've simply, again, this time taken in the length of this phaser, this time gone to this end and drawn an arc and where my two arcs crossed has to be the result. Remember, the resulting fiber is from the origin through to here. So the length of this is our I total, our current total. And here is our relative phase angle will be in here. This will be theta. So here's the final phase diagram. And you can see here the length of the phaser is 8 amps. And this phase angle in here is minus 15 degrees or 15 degrees lag. So it's lagging behind the reference as it rotates in an anti-clockwise direction, giving us our 15 degrees. So our answer is 8 amps at minus 15 or 8 amps 15 degrees lag. 5.2 in a parallel circuit there is a resistive load of 21 ohms in each branch and a capacitive branch with a capacitive reactance of 30 ohms. If the supply voltage is 240 volts at 50 hertz determine the total current drawn and choose a, well, choose a phasor diagram to represent it. So this time my scale is 2 amps equals 10 millimetres. So first stage is to put in the voltage reference and I've also put in the current for the resistor and you can see I've also done the maths for that down here. So the current in the resistor is the voltage divided by the resistance, so I get 240 divided by 21, giving me 11.4 amps at 
zero degrees because it is in phase with the voltage no problems there so there's our first one in so our next I decide to put in the current we know that the current's going to lead by 90 degrees for our capacitor and again simply done the maths so again current is the applied voltage divided by the XC they told us what the XC was so 240 divided by 30 gave me 8 amps and 8 amps at 90 degrees so there's my two phases on the diagram and how I got to the particular currents so we're doing our phaser additions so this first one nice and easy all I do is measure out the length of the phaser put my compass pointer here put my scribe on here and I'm going to scribe an arc out there then next thing I want to do is I will also move the current for the capacitor and so I've ended up with that is my origin point So here's my origin, here's my result, and again, simply scaled off, I got 14.4 amps at 45 degrees. So 45 degrees in here, well, very close to 45 degrees. Of course, 11 compared to 8 is not a big difference which maybe was slightly less than 45 degrees, but that's what I measured off using my protractor. So the next one, we've got 5.3. We have a resistor of 6 ohms, a pure inductive reactance of 7 ohms, and a capacitor with a reactance of 10 ohms are connected in parallel across a 24 volt AC supply. Draw the phase the diagram to scale and show the following. So we want to see the position of the supply, the coil current phaser, the capacitor current phaser, the resistor current phaser, and determine the total current, the value of the current, and the phase angle, and is it lead or lag. Again, my scale is 1 amp equals 10 millimetres. So... First, I'm going to put on my voltage reference and my current through the resistor. So the current through the resistor, reasonably straightforward, 24 divided by 6 gives me 4 amps at 0 degrees. Because it's a resistor, it stays in phase with the voltage and nice and simple and straightforward. The next thing we do is we put in the current for the capacitor. In this case, we've got the capacitor is at, uh, 20, at uh, 10 ohms. So 24 divided by 10 is obviously 2.4 amps. So we scale in 2.4 amps and at 90 degrees lead for our capacitor current. Then, of course, we have to add the inductor current. So the IL. The orange phaser is 24 divided by 7, because it's 7 ohms, giving us 3.4 amps. And it was told it was a pure inductor, so it's at minus 90. So the next thing we have to do is we have to subtract the IL minus the IC. And there we go, there's the IL minus the IC. Giving us a resultant phaser. I'll just get changed to the pen. So effectively, I brought this phaser down here, top to tail, subtracted it through to here. So there's the subtraction, and there's the result that uh, I'm left with after I've done the subtraction, being this darker green phaser here and the red phaser. So next job I've got to do is that subtraction ends up at uh, 2 amps at 90 degrees and I've now got to add it to the red phaser which I've done by 
again simply measuring the red phaser putting my compass point here and scribing an arc out here don't really need to because we know it's at 90 degrees straight out so you can draw it straight out at 90 degrees and then finally we've got to do the same here and our resultant phaser from the orange should be this one out here so there's the addition of the IL minus the IC phaser and here's the resultant phaser so we've done the addition of the two phases that were opposite each other in other words we're able to do an arithmetic or algebraic subtraction to get that then we had to add these two together and we end up with an I total of 4.2 amps at minus 15 degrees so we know that it's lag we know the phase angle is at 15 degrees and we know the value of the current is 4.2 amps so that is the OI total and we've been able to determine all of that simply by doing our phase diagram So that's the end of phase occurrence in uh, parallel with RL and C.